on our way down to the barn with our baby quail chicks who are finally feathered out. They were born the weekend of Thanksgiving. It is now the week before Christmas, week and a half before Christmas, sometime in December. <laughs> I lose track of the dates with this pregnancy brain. Ryan, what, what's, what's the date? Today is the 15th. The 15th of December. So 10 days. So, so how old are they then? If they were born the 20 something, I don't know. Anyway, they're feathered out now and they're moving to the barn brooder, which is an old crib that we converted into a brooder that we use for all of our chicks at certain stages of their life. And this is the stage they're at now. All right, are you boys ready? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna put these quail into their new home. This is our chick brooder. It's a converted crib. We have chicken wire and um, what's the name of that other stuff, Ryan? Hardware cloth. Hardware cloth on the outside, chicken wire on the inside. We also have it covered with feed bags on the very outside to keep the cold air from coming in in the winter. What do you think, Liam? Did we do a good job? Yeah. And it's lined with feed bags and then a layer of pine shavings. We have their water and their food close by to the light because the first couple of days they're probably going to stay pretty close to that light even though they have all their feathers. Hey! Got her? Yeah. Remember, try to drop it down on its feet. You're going to have to drop it from a little bit of a height, but they're okay with that. Good job. They've been flying out of the little box that we had them in. Oh, you calling for your friends already. <laughs> That's the sound they make when they get out of the box. <laughs> and they're like, wait, I'm alone. I didn't mean to fly out. So they sure are cute. And they are social, social animals. The boys have been playing with them a lot. One, two, three, These were hatched four. out of my friendliest quail hen I've ever had. She's a Texas a and she is the one, only quail two, I've ever had three, that actually four. wants to be petted and one, held. Two, three, so four. I think I'm seeing a lot of her personality in these babes. What do you boys think? You think it's because you were holding them so much or do you think it's because their mama's so sweet? I think their mama's so sweet. Oh, that one doesn't want to leave you. All right. All right, so Rowan did six. And Liam is going to do the next six. Right. So once they figure out what their food and water is, oh. try to get them lower. They're pretty farty little birds. They've been handled a lot by these boys. Put them over by the light, Liam. Liam, where are you going with that one? I think we should put a giant box in there. Oh, and shh, don't talk. All right. Let him get another one. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Let go if it's flappy, okay? Just let go. This is a perfectly acceptable height for them to fall from. And it won't hurt them because they have gotten so big. Of course, we want to go as gentle as possible. I think they they are All those um, beautiful cool white snowballs. And here's the one dirty yeah, snowball. Oh, yeah. The very last one to hatch was a brown chick and it's half the size as the others. It's it hatched dead. like two days afterwards too. So, yeah, or no, it was a day it. after. The one that hatched two days you afterward do. unfortunately didn't make it. It was also a brown one. We'll put a lid on top of it. Yeah, we'll put a lid on top. And then we'll the put the lid on top. That's right. We built this lid for the top. It's not very um, predator secure, but we have been very lucky on wood that it hasn't been an issue for us in any of our years of raising chicks so far. The really cool thing about this particular crib is we got it from a daycare and it had clear plexiglass ends so we can actually look in on the sweet babies as they grow. Right Liam? Yep. You love watching your babies? Yep. And there they are finding their food and water staying cozy under the light. I love you, you guys are gonna miss your babies, aren't you? You've been so bonded to them in the house. 
It'll make them want to come to the barn more. Yeah, you're gonna have to do more chores with mommy so you can check your birds every day. And, and it looks like they're comfortable enough away from the light that they're coming all the way down here. So I think the temperature in there is gonna be just fine. Oh, I'm flying. Yeah, they're gonna practice their wing flight now, just like they have been in the living room. <laughs> like, on the really, really cold nights, we'll cold put there. a blanket over this end, but not near the heat lamp. It is a Premier One heat lamp, which is the safest heat lamp in the world. Hi, guys. But we still don't put anything touching it. Oh, that one is I wonder if that one's a boy. It tends to be the noisier ones, huh? Mm -hmm. Looks like the quail settled in just nice.